Hey guys and gal, and here from Drake Queen Gaming. And some of you may be on Twitter, the Gaming Dragon. Today I'm coming back at you with a new Let's Play series on Otter Tail. Otter Tail is by the creator of Midnight Wolf, and we all know how much we love that one. So I am just going to have a very similar art style. I'm very much looking forward to it. It's in early access right now, so I'm going to be previewing it, seeing what it's got on offer for us. But anyway, I'll let's go ahead and jump right back in. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Also, y'all, check out that Patreon. It really helps the channel. We're about to move. All right. Darkness. I can't hear anything. Everything is muffled. My eyes open. It's water. I'm underwater. I can see light above me. I need to swim. I try moving my arms. They're stiff, but I can still use them. I try to swim back to the surface as hard as I can. There's figures above. I can't see them clearly, but I can hear them laughing. My lungs are starting to burn. I need to be fast. I paddle harder and harder, but the surface looks like it's getting farther away. My hands, they hurt. They're bleeding, but I have to keep swimming. I can't die here. <coughs> so I sneeze underwater and die. <laughs> I swim faster. Dark red streaks fill my sight. There's too much. It's too far. The laughing is getting louder. The water, it's not blue anymore. I can't tell where I'm going. I, I'm not moving anymore. I flail my arms. I kick my feet. Nothing's working. It hurts. I can't. I... There's a hand. It's coming at me. I motion to grab it, but nothing happens. I try again. Nothing. I look at my own hands. They're split into ribbons. No. Not... It's getting dark again. It's... Gah! Yeah! What? Gasping for air. I'm not, I'm not in water anymore? But I am soaking wet. Where am I? On the floor. I can feel it suddenly rock back and forth. Seagulls calling out, waves crashing. Right, I remember. I'm on a ship. I rubbed the back of my head, fell off the bed again. Damn, that nightmare again. I stand up and search the covers for my phone. 10 a.m. Hey, look at them bellies and chests. <sighs> we'll be there in a few hours. Hmm, still no signal. No point in paying for Wi-Fi at this point. This would have been a lot faster on a plane, but a three-day trip on a boat was somehow a steal. Not as fancy as a real cruise, but it's kind of cool living on a, living on a boat for a bit. At least the food was good. A lot of fish, though. Whose idea was this again? Mom? No. Dad? God, Dad got that call the other day. Come back to my roots, he said. Might, dear, might clear my head after that crap in college. A change of scenery would be good for me. Right. And then Mom and Dad immediately started ordering tickets. All right, enough hanging off the floor. I flip over and stand up. Yeah. I give myself a good stretch. One eye spying on the porthole, but it's not facing anything interesting. Just water and water. I get a better view once we land. I stiff myself. Ugh. Time for a shower. Oh yeah. Got to get this shirt off me. It smells bad. But they have a washing machine for this. Ooh. My hands slide around my back to snap the buttons off the tail hole. My boxers fall to the floor. Oh yeah, I'm gonna have to blur that. Because that is a nice ass. And I step into the bathroom. No, wait, they call it they call it the head, right? I look back to make sure my tail isn't in the shower door once I again once I close it. A twist to the left and then a little to the right. It doesn't take long to get rid of them to get to my ideal temp. I just let the water fall on me for a bit to calm me down before I grab the shampoo and clean myself up. I had a nightmare about water and here I am bathing in it. I kind of otter would be scared of water. Heh. <laughs> yeah. I squeeze some of the complimentary soap on me. The scent is nothing special. Maybe they got the maybe they got my brand on the island. <laughs> I see what you're doing, game. As I lather the soap on me, my eyes gradually dive down to my gut. Pat pat pat. I mean it's not bad, but it can be better. Water is an otter's best friend dealing with the gut. I'm not exactly eating the best of the best these days, either. Andrew didn't mind it, though. All clean. I shut the water off and grab a towel to dry myself. Hmm. Probably should have gotten a look before the steam filled up the mirror. I bring up my paw to wipe the steam off the mirror. Like, you know. Water time, or coffee time. Oh, yeah. Cold brew is my bag. 
A terrible beast stands before me. No, wait. It's just me. Some loser otter who can't swim. Can't even keep it together for one year in college. They should have gone with Dad's advice. Ugh. I flex my hands. Yep. Still hurts. I shake two pills from my meds I set up for the trip and cup wa for the trip and cup water from the faucet. Gulp. Um. All right. Let's get out of here. Back in the cabin, nading, naked and starting to chill, I browse my suitcase for my clothes for today. Kind of fresh boxer. Kind of fresh boxers on. Shorts, t-shirt, gloves, coat. Well, it was a bit chilly when I left Lakeland, but the temperature rose fast across the ocean. Into the suitcase it goes. Maybe I'll use it when it rains. My rocks, where'd I put those? I flap the blankets to check. Something solid bounces on the floor. There it is. Can't forget this. Around and around it goes my wrist. My right wrist. Okay, that's everything. Now what? Ding dong! Gah! Attention all passengers. We'll be making landfall at Prism Bay shortly. Thank you for choosing Nutria Transport, and we hope to see you again. I guess it's time. I make one final sweep to make sure I have everything all, everything with me. Yeah, I think that's everything. I have to do some maneuvering to get my suitcase out of the door and into the hallway. Two suitcases and a backpack may have been a bit much, but I'm staying here for three months. It's just a vacation. I'm living here. I'm living there, too. Arcus Looter. The suitcases bump and grind, and grind along as I walk outside. Finally! The salty sea air fills my nose. It's not the fragrant stuff you get out of a can. It kind of stinks, really, but I'm actually sort of into this. Guess that's, guess that's the otter blood in me. Ka! The humidity starts to hit me. Heat alone wouldn't be so bad, but now I'm sweating as much as I woke as much as I woke up. I thought waking up early would get me out of the would get me up out of there sooner, but immigration had a big fuss about what I had in my luggage. Language barrier didn't help either. It's just clothes, dude, and my sketchbook and video games. But now that's all done. I reach into my pocket for my earbuds, setting it to my favorite song. Walking down the pier, I'm noticing it's not all otters here. Weasels, badgers, ferrets, all walking and talking along massive ships. Never seen so many musky guys in one place. They're barely dressed, too. Guys of all sorts of builds and sizes. Well, they are sailors. Hard at work doing, uh, sailor things. Carrying barrels and pushing carts of fish and various cargo. Guys chatting and laughing, having a great time. Sweaty, shiny, sensual. What a tease. It's hard to look away. Hot men at work indeed. But I gotta get going. I speed up my pace a bit to get in line. There's a security gate at the end for tourists to get through. Hmm. Doesn't take long for my turn to come. Click, 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 click. I managed to get through. Let me, uh... There you go. I managed to get through. Now to find... Ugh! I look behind me and one of my suitcases got stuck between the bars. I tug it out. Um... I try to push the gate back. It doesn't spin the other way. This isn't good. The line behind the gate is starting to bark at me. My ears are heating up. Damn it, this is getting awkward. I'm pulling as hard as I can, but my fingers just don't have... <sighs> a pair of hands under my view. They grab onto my suitcase and give it a hard pull. It's out in one go. Thank God! I roll my junk aside to make sure nothing's damaged. Seems to be okay. I grab a handkerchief out of one of the pockets to get some of the sweat off. Hey, Pinson! Excuse me? Oh. I turn to look at my hero. He's an otter. Well, yeah. This is my... This is my cousin? Owen! Nandiko Kana! Whoa! Hmm. He gives me a big hug. He's firm and strong. He has a heavy scent of sea and fish on him. I can't tell if he just left work or if that's natural here, but... I think this is my cousin. Uh, Ollie? Wikitang Tagalmo? I can barely pick up any of that. It's river tongue. Mom and Dad speak that all the time, but I just lost practice when I started college. Ollie releases his grip on me and looks at me with curious eyes. His eyes dart to my right and back up with a smile. It's been a while or something. That's what he said, right? Sorry, hi, uh, hand, uh, uh, um, huh? Better to just be honest. I'm sorry. I can't understand what you just said. Ollie crosses his arms. He's thinking about something. Hmm. Owen. It, it's me, Ollie. You remember me, right? His English is accented in river tongue, but I understand him clearly. I don't. Yeah, I do. It's just been a while. What am I saying? I'm glad you are here now, Owen. He leads me out of the flocks of people waiting for new arrivals to look pointless. To, to look out pointless, crowded. 
Ah, oh, I'll take the elf water time. Coffee time, sorry. Damn, that's some good coffee, y'all. Welcome to Islang Otter. Or Otter Tail Island, as the mainland calls it. I can calm down a little bit now, so I take the chance to get a good look at him. An anchor shirt, his fur is bleached out from the sun, a little shorter than me. Keeps his hair tied back with the scent of the ocean lingering on him. I'm a year and a half older than him, but he has a better bod than me. Uh, mo. How do I say this? Uh, come on, come on, it hasn't been that long. You, you're Maganda? Ah, ha <laughs> ha! He bursts into laughter. Did I say the wrong thing? I said the wrong thing. After a moment of laughter, Ollie calms down to speak again. No, no, Owen. Uh, Maganda means beautiful. You say guapo for handsome. Right. Sorry. I'll try to remember the language while I'm here. Uh, Huwag kang megalala. Menga. Megalala. Megalala. English is common enough here. Uh, you think I'm handsome, though? My first words to my cousin, I already messed it up. I look away, trying to avert my blush. No, I just said the first thing that came to mind. It's all right, Kuya. It's been a while since you spoke river tongue. Just been away from people who speak it. I've been living on a campus for a while now. Uh, university, right? Yeah, art major. There was a lot of pushback from Dad from that. Good thing it wasn't his money that paid for it. Yeah, I remember. You drew so many pictures when you were here. I still have some of them. I cringe at the thought of seeing stuff I drew as a pup. I even... I even have Ning... I even have Ing... Ing Alahas you made for me. Aw. He turns his head and points to his hair tie, a red string with a blue bead. The sunstones cracked and broke off, but your rock is still there. I made that, huh? I don't recall making it, but it has the same blue shade the stone on my bracelet has. Damn, memory shit. You good, Kuya? Yeah, sorry, I was just thinking about something. I I'm ready to go. You need help with those? Ollie points to my luggage. After they got stuck at the gate, yeah, I could use some help. I try to give him the lighter of the suitcases, but Ollie just goes for the heavier one like it's nothing. I don't really know where to go, so I just follow his lead. Oh, hold on. Hold on, my shit be blowing up, dog. Oh, hold on, my phone's finally got a signal, it seems. Probably mom. Entering the code, it unlocks. I haven't forgotten that, at least. Andrew. Sorry for leaving in the dark like this. Coffee time. I should at least say something. I'm not dead or anything. Yet. Hey! Uh, I'm on vacation now. Parents idea. And you didn't tell me? Sorry, man. It was last minute. But where? Uh, just some Otter Island. The same one I left when we were kids. Oh, I remember. I hope we can see each other, but... Uh, each, I hope we can see each other, Otter, okay? <clears throat> cool, yeah? Ollie is already walking a few feet ahead of me. Yeah, yeah, I'm coming. I should send a picture to Andrew at some point. I owe him that much. Enough standing around. I pick up my pace to catch up with Ollie. So, this is Prism Bay. Yeah, this is in Big City for the island. It's basically designed for otters. Or at least they pretend to. Passing by a bunch of waterways, tourists are walking along the bridges and riding the boats. <clears throat> taking pictures of otters swimming in the canals and taking selfies with the, other, with the otter guys. Some are even looking at us. Don't mind them, Kuya. There won't be many tourists at home. It's not all otters. I spotted a boat with a badger selling fried balls of some food. And a pine martin swimming below us dragging a net full of fruit. He looks up at us to wave. I wave back. I don't know how the tourists can handle all of our musk, though. Or maybe they're here exactly for that. There's tons of guys walking around half-dressed, or maybe this is full dress. The views are certainly guapo, though. But uh, it also makes me a bit self-conscious. I mean, I don't mind walking around shirtless, but compared to everyone here... Utterly average. <clears throat> Maybe all this walking will help with it. <clears throat> so, where are we going? We're heading. We're heading to da, Daing Isla, or oh, so we can ride the jeepney. Ali points to the far tail end of the island. I can spot boats in a small village there. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and pause it. I gotta get ready for work. Thank you all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and uh, check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.